Today, I will present to you one of the most requested videos on the channel lately. Cougar vs. Leopard. Who would win a fight between these two wild cats? In this video, I want to introduce you to a new channel, Wild Facts, a channel where you will discover new things in everyday life. You will be able to see interesting topics, but also new things about animals. Consider checking out this channel and also subscribe if you find the content interesting. Thank you. Both Puma and Leopard are the member of Felidae family. However, even though the cougar is a very large cat, it is not included in the genus Panthera, along with the tiger, lion, jaguar, and leopard. The cougar is the second largest member of the cat family Felidae in the Western Hemisphere. The only cat in the Americas that is larger is the jaguar of Central and South America. The cougar is a cat of many names. Mountain lion, panther, puma, painter, and catamount are some of the other names used to refer to this species. Leopards are probably one of the most secretive and elusive animals in the animal kingdom. High adaptability, their master ability for stealth, makes these animals one of the most fierce predators. What do they look like? The cougar is comparable in size as the leopard. They vary in length from 5 to 9 feet, 1.5 to 2.7 meters, with a tail length of 21 to 36 inches, 53 to 91 centimeters, and height from 23 to 28 inches at the shoulder, 58 to 71 centimeters. Weight can vary greatly between 75 and 250 pounds, 34 to 113 kilograms. It has a very muscular body that varies in color from tawny red to dark brown. The throat, chest, chin, and whiskers are white. Cougars have extremely powerful hind legs, which make them excellent jumpers. A cougar can jump straight up 5.5 meters from the ground. The ears are small, short, and rounded. Leopards have short legs relative to their long body. They have a broad head, and their massive skull allows for powerful jaw muscles. Their coat ranges from tawny or light yellow in warm, dry habitats to reddish-orange in dense forests. Their body is covered with black rosettes. Savanna and woodland leopards tend to be relatively large, while mountain and desert leopards tend to be relatively small. Males range in mass from 80 to 212 pounds, 36 to 95 kilograms, and in length from 5.2 to 7.5 feet, 1.6 to 2.3 meters. Females range in body mass from 46 to 132 pounds, 21 to 60 kilograms, and in length from 5.5 to 6.2 feet, 1.7 to 1.9 meters. Where do they live? The geographic range of the cougar is from Canadian Yukon through the US, Central and South America to the southern tip of Chile. Cougars were extirpated from the eastern and central parts of North America within 200 years following European colonization, except for remnant subpopulation in South Florida. Cougars live in a variety of environments, including montane coniferous forests, grassland, swamps, lowland tropical forests, and dry brush country. They use dense vegetation, rocky crevices, and caves for shelter. By 2019, the leopard had lost up to 75% of its former range. Several large pockets, however, remained throughout sub-Saharan Africa, Iran, and the Himalayas, with smaller pockets scattered throughout Central Asia, India, Southeast Asia, Eastern China, and Manchuria, and the Korean Peninsula. In addition, one tiny pocket of leopards persists in the Atlas Mountains. They typically live in woodlands, forests, and grassland savannas. Less frequently, they occur in mountainous areas as well as scrublands and deserts. What do they eat? 
Generally, pumas prey on deer, but also feed on smaller animals if necessary, including domestic animals. Skilled and cunning hunters, cougars stay hidden from their prey until they can pounce with claws outstretched. Cougars can also climb with ease and leap over 6 meters 20 feet. For the most part, the cougar has no natural enemies and sits atop the food chain. However, they occasionally compete with other predators, such as bears and wolves, for food. Leopards feed on mainly small to medium mammals. Although leopards have been known to be very picky eaters, plucking feathers and plumage from birds before they eat them, leopards will consume any foods available to them in the area. Leopards are also mainly nocturnal hunters, but are extremely opportunistic and will not pass up a hunting opportunity even during the day. They hunt by stalking and rely heavily on their ability to stay hidden for as long as possible to successfully hunt. How do they behave in the wild? Cougars tend to roam in areas where they won't be seen, such as rocky mountains or dark forests. They don't usually attack humans unless they feel cornered or threatened. Cougars may hunt during the day or night, though they are most active around dusk and dawn. They tend to be solitary and secretive animals, except for mating time. The home range of a cougar may be larger than 125 square miles, 310 square kilometers. A cougar marks its territory with various kinds of signs to warn other cougars to stay out. However, the large home range of a male may overlap the smaller home ranges of several females. A healthy cougar in the wild can live to around 10 years of age. The leopard is a solitary animal of the bush and forest and is mainly nocturnal in habit, although it sometimes basks in the sun. It is an agile climber and frequently stores the remains of its kills in the branches of a tree. When leopards accidentally encounter each other, they can engage in a fight. Usually, the animal emits a rasping or sawing cough in order to inform other leopards of its presence. Home ranges of leopards usually overlap with each other. Thus, the home range of a male leopard can often overlap with territories of multiple females. The calls of the leopard vary and include a series of harsh coughs, throaty growls, and deep purring sounds. The animal takes to water readily and is a good swimmer. If a leopard fought a cougar, who would win? A different range makes the meeting of these animals impossible, at least in nature. But let's imagine that they nevertheless crossed paths and entered into a duel. Let's say for the loot. Take the largest males of both species. Both predators are very similar, so the outcome of their confrontation can be unpredictable. They are very similar size-wise, with the cougar perhaps being the heavier on average of the two. The leopard is a little stockier, but being more robust and muscular, and also has a larger head, neck, and more robust shoulders than the cougar. But the cougar has the more powerful forelimb. Both are capable of bringing down animals many times their size. The bite force is about the same, around 300 to 350 psi for both cats. Leopards compete with cheetahs, hyenas, African wild dogs, and lion prides. Cougars compete with bears, wolves, coyotes, and wolverines. Leopards have fiercer competitors and are more accustomed to fighting cats outside their species. The leopard is in a dangerous game. The cougar is generally not. Mountain lions have to be able to pierce thick winter coats and sometimes even layers of insulating fat to bring down prey. Yet they can do it. And also, they seem to bite skulls more often than leopards do. But I am not sure if it could skull bite the pantherine's skull. An extremely important factor that most people forget about is anatomy. The leopard has the construction of an animal of the genus Panthera. Cougar has the construction of an animal of the genus Felis. In terms of anatomy, this is like a giant domestic cat against a mini tiger. 
As per my experience of watching animals, the leopard is more powerful and strong, also very aggressive. Puma is more related to the domestic cat. The leopard is more related to tigers and lions. Both animals would be injured in the fight, but the leopard has more advantages to win. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.